test mic. What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, it's lesson number two for Revit Structure 2021. So last video, we talked about linking our architectural model. So this time around, we are going to talk about creating levels. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to open the exercise file for that. And then I'm going to look for structure. 0, 2, we're in. This is where we already link our architectural model. Okay, so as you can see, here's our model here. We are on level 2. So what we are going to do is we are going to open our elevation view. So why do we need to open our elevation view? Because we are going to create levels. And levels, you can only create that on section view or elevation view. Okay. As you can see from the architectural tab here, on our datum panel, our level here is disabled. So by the way, the shortcut for level is LL. Okay, so it's disabled because we are on a floor plan. So we need to go to the elevation view. So we have a couple, couple of ways to go to the elevation view. First off, from our project browser, you can see the elevation there. So you have east, north, southwest. So another way to go to the elevation view is by using the icons that we have here on our floor plan. If you are going to zoom in, you just scroll your mouse. You can see that this is a south elevation. So if you double click that portion, double click, it will open the south elevation. So it's just like you double click the south here on the project browser. It's just the same. Okay, so as you can see, we also have the east. We also have here the north and, of course, the west. Okay, so you have two options to go to the elevation view. So one is by using the project browser. The other one is by using the icon on your uh, drawing area. Okay, so let me show you. If I'm going to double-click the south here, you will notice the south here will going to be highlighted. It will also be darkened just like your level 2. So if I double click this, double click. All right, so as you can see, it's now open. So the south, this is now the south elevation. Now, if I'm going to click the link model here, as you can see, our architectural model, so it contains several levels here. So it has top of footing, levels 1 to 5, and then there's also roof. So our aim here is we are going to create this level. So we're going to create top of footing level, level 1, level 2, level 3, 4, 5, and then the roof. We're not going to create the parapet level. And then you also notice here the the template that we have used, the, archi the structural template. It contains two levels. So it contains level 1 and then level 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the level 2 and then once you click that you will notice there's a small circle there and then there's a dotted line okay so meaning to say this is linked to level 1 so if I'm going to drag this the level 1 will follow as well okay and then this lock icon here okay so it makes our level 2 and then level 1 lock together so that when we move our level 2 level one will also move as well okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hover my pointer to that small circle hold the left button of your mouse and then i'll just drag that here there you go okay now the next thing that i'm going to do is uh, i'm just going to align my level two here the structural level two just under this floor here Okay, if you want to measure this floor that we have on our structural level 2, this floor here, you can click this icon, align dimension, or you can just select this icon, measure between two references. So if you're using AutoCAD, this is just like the distance command. Okay, so I'm going to select this, and then I'm going to click from here, one, and then I'm going to click. So there's a 6 inches thickness of this floor here so we want to put our structural level here our level two on the underside of this level so to do that you can use the move command or you can also use the align command okay 
So let me show you the align command. So to go to the align command, you need to go to the modify tab. And then from the modify panel, you can see here the move, uh, the align command. The shortcut also is AL if you want a shortcut. So I'm going to select the align here. And then if you're going to read your status bar, it says here, please select line or reference for alignment. So you need to select first, where do you want to align your level 2? So I want that to be aligned here. So I'm going to select that. And then after that, read again. Please select an entity to align. It will move into alignment with the reference. So you just need to select the element that you want to align to that. Okay, which is this one. This is the second one that you need to select. So click. There you go. And never mind that lock icons. Do not lock that. And then after that, you just need to select modify here to terminate the tool or to escape the command or to deselect the object. So just select modify or just escape a couple of times. There you go. Okay, so there's now our level 2. So another way is you can also use your move command. So I'm going to undo one time so that it will go back to its uh, previous position. So to use the move command, I'm going to select first the object that I want to move. So select and then you just select here the move command or you just type MV. Okay, select the move command and then you click the level and then you just click to that underside of the wall or the floor, sorry. There you go. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create levels 3 until roof. Okay, until the roof. So to do that, so I'm going to select the architecture. I'm going to use here the level command. Okay, so we have two ways of creating our level. So I'm going to select the level here. I click the level. Okay, so take note that you have two options here in creating your level. The first option here is creating a line meaning you are just going to click two points, one and then another point to create your level. And then the other option here is pick lines. So you just need to pick a line. Okay, so I'm going to show you the first option, which is this one, line tool. Okay, now before that, there is an option here. So we call this options bar. So what will happen is automatically after you create the level, Make plan view here is checked, meaning it will also create that particular level. So if I'm going to create level 3 level here, it will also create level 3 floor plan here on my project browser if make plan view is checked. But if you only want to create a level, reference level, without the floor plan, then you can just uncheck this one. Okay, but in our case, I'm going to check the make plan view so that I'll be able to create as well the floor plan view here on my project browser. Now, using the line tool, so what I just need to do is um, I need to click two points. Okay, so I'm going to snap here. All right, so that's the problem here. I can't snap. I can't snap. So what I'm just going to do is you see there's a distance that appears every time I move my pointer. Okay, so my reference here is the structural uh, level 2. So if I move my pointer up, or let's say I'll just type, so let's say uh, 12 feet, so I'm just going to type 12. I'm not going to pick yet, so I'm just going to uh, place my pointer like that, and then I'm going to type 12, and then enter. There you go. So there's now my first point, and then here's now my second point. So I'm going to pick here, align to the other level. There you go. And then as you can see, it also creates here the level 3. Okay, again, I'm going to select modify to deselect the object or to terminate the tool. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the level 1 analytical here. I do not uh, need this. So I'm going to hold control to select analytical level 2, and then the site plan as well. We don't need that. So I'm just going to select and then delete. Press delete on your keyboard. Or I'm going to undo again. 
select, hold control, click, you, you can right click, and then you can also select their delete. Okay, so you can press the delete on your keyboard or you just uh, right click and then select delete. Now for this one, I'm going to select the level 3 here and then you see that uh, button there, the circle. So I'm going to click that and then I'm going to tidy up by aligning it to the other level here. There you go. Okay. Right, so that's the first way of creating your level. Okay, so you just need to pick two points. Alright, now the second way of creating levels, so I'm going to select level here, is by using pick lines. So it creates a line base on an existing wall, line, or edge selected in the drawing area. So I'm going to select pick lines. And then since I want to create another level whose distance is 12 feet, so before I pick, I'm going to select here the offset distance. So I'm just going to type 12 here. Okay, you do not need to type the unit fit, the unit fit symbol. Why? Because automatically the Revit will recognize that as a, as a fit. Okay, because that is the default setting. So just to show you, I'm going to terminate this first. And then I will go to the modify tab. Oh, on, oh sorry, I'll go to the manage tab. And then I go to the project units. As you can see here, the length is set to uh, feet and fractional inches. Okay, so it's feet and fractional inches. So that's why if I type a number, automatically Revit will uh, read it as feet. So let's say I type 1, so that's 1 foot. So if I type 5, so that's 5 feet. Okay, so that's how Revit will understand that. So if I select here the level, and let's say here, uh, peak lines, feet, uh, sorry, the offset here. So if I type here 5, so that means 5 feet. Now, if I want 5 feet and 6 inches, so what I can do is I just type 5, and then I'm going to space 6. Okay, so the Revit or Revit will read it as 5 feet 6 inches. Okay, because that is the default units our project is using. So if I press enter, as you can see, automatically it will become 5 feet 6 inches. Now, let's say, for example, oh, I want millimeters. Okay, so if that's the case, you need to type the unit. MM. Okay, so let's say I want uh, uh, 100 mm. So you just need to type 100 mm. So select the level. You select the peak lines option and then select here 100 and then you type mm enter so automatically revit will convert that to the current setup units that your project is in so as you can see it automatically converted to 3 and 15 16 inches okay so that is equivalent to 100 millimeters okay so that's how revit uh, how intelligent Revit is. <laughs> All right. Anyway, okay, let's go back. So select level, peak lines. So we will be using 12 feet here. So I'm just going to type 12, enter. All right, for this one, I'm going to pick this. As you can see, there's a dotted line that will appear here. See? That one. So do not move your pointer a little below because it will create the level below here. Okay, so make sure your pointer is on the upper side of that level, and then you click. There you go. Again, it will create the level for here because make plan view here is checked. Okay, so I'm going to create also level 5. There you go. And then, uh, for this one, I'm, going to per I'm just going to make the offset 0, and then I'm going to click this level. There you go. All right. And then modify. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the level that I created. You see there's a small circle. Just drag that to a line here. And then for me to be able to put that uh, level name, I just need to check this show bevel. Just click that checkbox and then it will not show. So you have an option. You want turn on, turn off. Same with here. Turn off, turn on. Okay. 
Oh, let's change this one. You can click that to change the name to, let's say, Roof. Okay, would you like to rename corresponding views? So what will happen is if you select yes, our views here will also update. So if our level 6, we change that to roof, our level here, the level 6 floor plan will also change to roof, which is what we want to do. Okay, so I'm just going to select here yes. And then if you do not want to show this message again and use the default settings, yes, you just need to select check here so that it will not show this message again and then select yes so that the settings is always yes for this question there you go okay as you can see it's also named here now okay we also have this level this is the last one so level uh, peak lines okay I'm not going to specify the offset I'm just going to pick this okay or if you want to specify the offset distance so you just type 6 okay and then you pick here make sure your pointer is below so that it will create the level here below if you remove your pointer up it will create the level up okay do not do that so I'm going to undo it pick lines 6 feet pick there you go okay modify and then I'm going to change the name. I select this. Aside from clicking that to change the name, you can also go here. Okay. So from the properties. So I'll just type here. Top of footing. All right. And then you can actually change the level here if you want. So let's say, oh, it's wrong. So I do not want minus six feet. So you just type here. Okay. You can type. All right there you go okay so I'm just going to click this and then I'll just click that and then drag it here just to tidy up there you have it okay so let me just click this there's a small circle so let's drag that here there you go all right so I do not want that bubble so I'm going to uncheck this there you go all right, so our level now is set up, okay? So that's how you create levels. So our next topic, I'm going to teach you how to use Copy Monitor. All right, so thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.